Russia's foreign mercenaries face mass capture. Ukraine's brigade explains why. The 4th Rubies Brigade's Kara Nebesna UAV crew commander of Ukraine, Andriy Otchenash, says that Russia is sending black mercenaries and people of Indian descent to the front. He said this on Espresso TV. The situation is quite tense. The Russian army is attacking from absolutely every direction it can, finding and looking for some methods to advance our defense line. Russia is sending a huge number of personnel reserves, not only Russians, but also mercenaries. We have already noticed black people, Indians and other mercenaries who are ready to destroy our country for money. They are indeed very active in their assault operations, but the Rubies Brigade is holding the line and they are objectively unsuccessful. Even the small achievements they have are worth absolutely incredible efforts with a huge loss of personnel. The efficiency is absolutely minimal, the military explained. According to him, mercenaries fighting for Russia do not know how to fight and do not have communication and units because they do not speak the language. Sometimes, relatively speaking, some Indian mercenary is told, go there, there is a dugout. He goes right up to our positions. Because they don't understand Russian, they don't understand each other. This is just another deception. I'm more than sure that these mercenaries were promised much better conditions, better places, and they are just being sent to the meat assaults to death, where they have absolutely no idea what to do, so they just sit under fire. The best option, of course, is that none of the representatives of other nationalities go to fight for this bloody Russian imperialist regime, said the Kara Nebesna UAV crew commander. But Chenash said that these mercenaries are captured by Ukrainians and then communicate with them in English with an interpreter and even with peculiar gestures. Recall, Cubans continue to arrive in Russia to join its forces to fight against Ukraine, despite the Cuban government's attempts to clamp down on recruitment, Bloomberg reported. Russia has been recruiting foreigners from such countries as Nepal, Somalia, India, Cuba and others to fight in Ukraine from the very beginning of the full-scale invasion. Russian forces have been trying to boost military enlistment at home and abroad, as the need to replenish the troops has become more acute. Russia lost 16,000 armored fighting vehicles in Ukraine. Russia continues to pay a high cost in personnel and equipment in its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, according to Kiev's latest figures, which have marked a grim milestone in losses of armored protected stroke fighting vehicles, according to Newsweek. Ukraine's general staff said that Russia lost 16,000 armored fighting vehicles since the start of the war on February the 24th, 2022. Precise figures of losses are difficult to discern, with both sides keen to keep the real totals under wraps. Newsweek has contacted the Russian Defense Ministry for comment about the figures, which Kiev describes as very approximate. Newsweek says that in recent months, April the 4th, 2024, saw the highest daily losses of the vehicles. This total excludes main battle tanks, but includes armored cars, assault guns, self-propelled artilleries, infantry fighting vehicles and armored personnel carriers. The figures from Ukraine's general staff put the monthly total of losses in May at 880, which was the highest since the record month of 889 in March 2022 at the start of the war. 
The highest daily total overall in the war was 96 APVs on March the 15th, 2022. The tally by the Dutch open source intelligence defense analysis website Oryx, which uses video or still imagery as evidence, put the tally of APV losses at 1,474. Of these, 1,067 were destroyed, 36 were damaged, 100 were abandoned, and 271 were captured. More than half of these were MTLB, Soviet-era amphibious tracked armored fighting vehicles. Given the standard of evidence required, Oryx says that the amount of Russian equipment destroyed is significantly higher than recorded here. Meanwhile, Russia continues to suffer high troop losses in Ukraine, with Kyiv's figures on Tuesday listing that there had been 1,220 casualties the previous day, which includes those both killed and injured. It takes Kyiv's tally of Russian troop losses to 568,980 since the start of the war. Russian army casualties are said to have risen sharply in recent months amid a failed, renewed Russian offensive in the northeast of the Kharkiv region.